how am I, how can I be there on time if there's no buses that's running? You know, and then you got to explain that to your employers and they're not they're not taking that so serious. They're thinking like, oh, you're just calling off, but this is a really serious problem. That's a big problem. Yeah. There are major changes that could be coming to bus routes in Tempe, and some people just like the one you heard who live in the East Valley are not happy about this. Yeah, so right now, yet the city of Tempe is considering cutting down the time its buses operate by about two hours a day. That very small change could end up having a big impact on a lot of folks, especially in the East Valley. Kara, hey, joining us live from Tempe tonight and Kara, so many people, especially those in the service industry, they need those rides later on at night. So I would imagine that those folks are going to be impacted the most by this. Exactly. And it's a question you see on almost every job application. Do you have a reliable source of educate or uh, transportation? Well, I spoke to people here in Tempe today say now their answer may have to change. Stevie Jones, the third works the graveyard shift clocking in at 4 p.m. and not clocking out until the wee hours of the morning. He relies on Valley Metro to get home, but that could be changing. The city of Tempe is looking into shortening the hours its public buses run. Right now, they go from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m., but starting in October, that could change to 11 p.m. The late, late night service that we currently operate accounts for about a little bit less than 2% of our ridership. Eric Iverson, the city's transit manager, says no one wants to see a reduction in service, but it likely will happen because of budget concerns and low ridership since COVID. We are certainly willing to work with any resident, any rider that wants to talk about alternatives for them to get around. But what are the alternatives? Eric Iverson mentioned rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft, but people I spoke with say that's not sustainable. Sometimes I pay like $50, $40. That's compared to the two bucks Stevie Jones the third pays to get home from his late night shift using the Valley Metro. Ubers are really already hard to get to. You know, they don't even have a lot of people that's driving around right now. But if all else fails, Giovanni Burt, who doesn't get off work until 11 p.m., says I have to depend on my bike or my legs to try to make it home. Now, bike or legs definitely wouldn't be ideal for the time of work that he gets off. But the city official that I spoke with today says that change is likely to happen, but they still want to hear from the people here in Tempe. So we've posted a link to their survey on our website at azfamily.com. Live in Tempe, here, hey, Arizona's family.